Hi everyone. Today I will talk about the Internet Computer DAO framework. The Internet Computer is a general purpose network where people can build and run applications fully on chain. Applications include crypto wallets, chat apps, games, and marketplaces, all of them fully on chain. Behind every successful app, there is a community. People who use it, give feedback, build new features, and help it grow. But these communities, to really thrive, they need a way to make decisions together. Traditional apps often have a company with a CEO making the big calls. The company might own all the content and is able to unilaterally change the rules of the game or shut down a service without first consulting with clients. This isn't just a theoretical threat, though. For example, in 2018, personal data belonging to millions of Facebook users was collected by a consulting firm for political advertising. This happened without an informed consent from the users. And in 2023, Twitter shut down its free API access with just a few days' notice and introduced a paid plan at $100 a month, killing off an ecosystem of community apps that relied on the free tier. And that had once brought success to Twitter itself. In contrast, apps on ICP can be self-sovereign, which means they are open and community-driven. That means a community can decide things like, should we change the app's fees? What direction should the project take? And how to improve the app's design? Another challenge faced by many apps is funding. Developers need to cover costs such as salaries and outreach. But reaching early investors is still difficult in some parts of the world. And relying on them sometimes creates pressure to hand over control or change the project's direction without taking the community into account. This is where the Internet Computer DAO framework comes in. A DAO, short for Decentralized Autonomous Organization, is a self-sovereign community that makes decisions together using votes. It doesn't have a boss. Everyone who holds the DAO token has a say. DAOs have many advantages for the communities. First, they protect user content. Then, they also protect communities from unilateral changes that are not in their best interest. Besides, no one knows better how to improve the product than its users, and DAOs both empower and incentivize users to take action. Lastly, communities can raise funds for cool projects that otherwise fall through the cracks of traditional venture capital. ICP offers a streamlined decentralization process that helps developers turn their app into a DAO in three steps. First, developers launch the app. Second, they propose to start a decentralization process, setting a goal, like how much funding is needed. During the decentralization process, anyone can contribute ICP tokens to help reach that goal. If the goal is met, at the last step of the process, the app is handed over to a DAO newly created just for that purpose. In return for their ICP, contributors of this decentralization process get DAO-specific tokens, which represent both ownership and voting rights. And the raised ICP funds go into a community treasury, which can fund development, support, or anything the community decides. Let's illustrate these three steps with a concrete example. In this example, the app is called Nova. Let's assume it's a social app with a substantial user base and that already provides a valuable service to its users. Let's say that the app can be decentralized if it raises at least 2,500 ICP, but it would accept as much as 300,000 ICP. Among other information, the duration of the decentralization swap is also clearly specified so that interested users know when they can participate. Let's now assume the decentralization conditions are met. As a member, I can now see which Nova DAO proposals are currently open. For example, currently there is a motion to strengthen and grow Nova DAO for the years to come. That sounds interesting. Let's check out the details of this proposal. This brings me to the voting page where I can cast votes in favor or against this proposal. My voting power here is proportional to the amount of staked DAO tokens that I hold. Initially, these are given in return for the ICP tokens contributed during the decentralization process, but they can also be obtained later by exchanging other tokens. In short, ICP makes it simple to build apps that are owned by their users, apps that can grow sustainably without giving up control. 
If you're curious about the idea of a more open and community-driven internet, the NNSDAP is a great place to explore and maybe join some of these communities. I can't wait to see how the ICP DAO ecosystem will evolve.